Not getting proper blood flow to your body. It could be peripheral artery disease. In tonight's medical moment, Derek Francis explains the warning signs and the dangers if left untreated. Peripheral artery disease, or PAD, is a circulatory problem in which narrowed blood vessels reduce blood flow into the limbs. And those blood vessels can build up with cholesterol inside them and they start to narrow and decrease the amount of blood flow that's getting to your muscles or to the tissues of your feet and legs. Many people never have symptoms. Others have subtle ones. Subtle signs are if you have a decrease in the amount of hair that's growing on the lower aspects of your legs, that can sometimes be a sign. Or if you just notice your feet are cool or discolored all the time. For a lot of people, the symptom is as simple as pain or their legs getting really tired early on when they walk or climb stairs, do activity. Their muscles just aren't getting the blood and oxygen that they need. More advanced symptoms of PAD are starting to develop sores or ulcers on your feet or legs or if you do get a cut, it just doesn't heal as quickly. When left untreated, PADs can lead to tissue damage and other serious problems. And Dr. Yasa says a PAD is often a sign of something worse. If they have um, arterial disease in the blood vessels of the legs, they're uh, likely to have blood vessel disease in the blood vessels around the heart. Once a person hits 50, the rate of PAD goes up. But for people at high risk, it can start much sooner. Those are really the big risk factors. The smoking, high blood pressure, obesity, and high cholesterol. The good thing about those things is that most of them are things that we can modify if we catch them early on. Some PADs can be treated with medication and lifestyle improvement while others require surgical procedures. The other surgical options are things like balloons or stents and that's that minimally invasive surgery that we talked about where you would we go into the um, artery with just a small poke or a needle. We take some pictures of the blood flow and sometimes right then and there we can make the blood flow better. The most serious require a bypass not unlike the procedure we know with heart disease. Bypasses can be used in all sorts of places in the body to get around blocked blood vessels, where we actually detour around the blocked blood vessels to bring blood down to the foot through something else like a vein or a piece of graft. Dr. Yasa says the easiest way to stay ahead of peripheral artery disease, a simple screening, which is often covered by your insurance. Derek Francis, Fox 17 News. Well, we've got more snow on the way, about uh, one to two inches.